Seasons one of the team itself. Because it's, a, it's about the team, not about the individuals. And that's the downside of football because you can't pick the same players every week. But it's very rewarding when you see your team won and you see the players being happy. It makes me feel happy because I feel part of it now. And that's what I like about my job where people are being happy and our supporters are happy. And when we lose, it's the opposite feeling because uh, as a manager, you have responsibility. You know what that means? I have to make sure that uh, the players are okay with it and we have to sort of try to bounce back in the next game after losing and everybody's sad then. So it's a mixture of the two. You've got happiness some days and sadness other days. So it's how you deal with that inside and how you feel. Does that answer your question, Austin? Yes. Goodbye. What makes a good player? Though? What makes a good player? Yes. Well, there's a lot of things. Uh, can I hit you back with a question on that? What, what, uh, what would you think makes a good player, first of all? Being a fair player and passing and sharing the ball around the field. Absolutely brilliant. That's really good. So that's more what I was thinking about saying too, because playing for the team is a good player. Someone who is uh, unselfish and will work really hard for the team before themselves. And sometimes if you're maybe going to beat a player and you see someone in a better position to maybe score a goal for the team, you have to be unselfish. and. There's lots of other unselfish things you do in football, like running when you haven't got the ball to cover someone who might be out of position, or running when you haven't got the ball to get into a better position to receive a pass. But you're right, passing in the ball and sharing the ball, it's about teamwork and communicating to each other how important it is that we do our best, because if you don't want to match because the other team's better, then we can accept that. But if you don't want to match because you haven't given enough effort, then that's not a good feeling. But it's important that we give full effort to try and be as good as we can be. Do you understand that? Good boy, Ashley. How does it feel being successful as well? <laughs> Say that again, please. How does it feel being successful? It feels really good. I think I said a wee bit about that there. It feels really good because you know that it's making so many people happy. And when you're successful, you can uh, share that happiness. Because sometimes in life, when you're happy, uh, but you've no one to share the happiness with, it doesn't feel as good. But if you're happy and your family's happy when you play well, Oshin, or you do well at something, it's good to share it with your family. Do you agree? Yes. So that's the best thing about football. When you win and you see everybody happy, and, and that makes me happy too. Do you have lots of encouragement in your players finishing top four this year? Sorry, what was that? Uh, do you have lots of encouragement for your players finishing top four this year? Do you have lots of encouragement? Yes, I would love to see us finish in the top four. And uh, we're sitting fourth at the moment, actually. And it's going to be very, very difficult. And we hope to strengthen the team and when we get to the next window. You know what that means, don't you, son? Yeah. In, into July when we can sign players. Because we've only got 15 players, two loan players. and maybe three school boys who are playing with the first team so we are very short staffed but I'm aware of that and we really would like to push for the top four but um, I don't see why we can't do that. And what do you think of youth players in the reserve like Califar and Sandor? They're two very good players with uh, They've got good attitude and they train hard, especially Sam Todd, who's a big lad who's uh, 18, and Cal's 18 as well. 
they were only eight years older than you actually. So it just shows you how you you can change in such a short time. And they really want to be footballers. So what they're doing now, they have to make a decision on their uh, education. And they've reached that age where they're going to take a year out. And it means they can come in and uh, train with the first team to get better, to see if they can uh, improve to the level of being a first team player. Yeah, and do you like your job as Dyson Manager? I love my job. I love meeting people like you and Oisin and Anna and all the other children because it makes me remember when I was a young person like you and I loved to watch football and I had my heroes as well and I used to see them on television and think, oh God, I would love to meet them. And I had... Uh, I live in the country where we don't have a big football club like Derry City. It's only little small clubs and, uh, and village clubs and things like that. But I, I really enjoy my work here. Signing an autograph. What do you mean you don't know? Of course I am. Where do you sign an autograph? Thank you for the question.